بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم let me continue we we'll finish by this one now we solve this he said it's homogeneous that will make it easier so we'll let y equal u x that implies dy equal u dx plus x du plug it in this one you get what x plus 3 ux dx minus 3x plus ux what is dy u dx plus x du equals zero yeah we have what x dx 3 ux dx yeah now product of this times this do it one by one don't forget you have the minus sign minus x u d u minus 3x squared d u minus u squared x dx minus u x squared d u equals zero you notice these two will be cancelled <coughs> combine the one with the x so i have this with this with the dx i mean i have x 1 minus u squared dx in one side. This is negative, take it to the other side. You have what? x squared 3 plus u du, which is, I can rewrite it, dx over x equals 3 plus u over 1 minus u squared du. Very clear, this is a problem. Integrate. I have ln absolute value of x will be the integral of this, which is one minus u, one plus u. Very clear. I need I need the partial fraction. Okay. That give me what? A over one minus plus u plus b over one plus u. D u. Okay. Now cover this. Take u equal one. You have what four over two? That will be two. Cover this. You have take u equal minus one. You have three minus one, which is two over one minus. That will be one. You can check two plus two u plus one minus u. That will be three plus u. Good. Now that implies what? Now integrate. Now this is ln absolute value of x. Integral of this. Don't forget this is. 1 minus, so I need the minus sign, minus 2 ln 1 minus u, plus ln 1 plus u, plus c. And this is, I can write it, rewrite it as ln 1 plus u over 1 minus u square, plus c. And that is, will be ln, what is u? u is y over x, y over x. Yeah, that is equal to ln of what? Yeah, I have x plus y over x times the spherical of this, which is x square over x minus y all square plus c. That will be ln x, x plus y over x minus y squared. Oops. Plus c. Okay. So, now integrate. You have what? In absolute, that will be x equals c. c times x, x plus y over x minus y all squared so x cancelled with x i'm getting what x minus y square equals c x plus y x minus y all square is the same as y minus x all square huh? this is these two are the same equals c x plus y which is y plus x who cares x plus y is the same as, as y plus x just make it in the same format. It will be a solution of this initial value problem. 
we have very clear this is what this is subrobot very clear huh uh, this is the linear i mean dy over dx minus y i divide by dx huh? i took x is minus a to the power x on the other side Now it's linear, very clear linear. So it's an integrating factor will be e integral of minus one dx. So e is minus x. Okay. Multiply. So you have e is minus x dy over dx minus e is minus xy equal x. This should be this format. Check. Yes, everything is okay. That will be x. Integrate. E is minus xy will be what? x squared over 2 plus c. And actually, this is what he wants. He want this. So leave it as this in this format and let me find the, the c. I have y at 0 equal 1. So that what? E to the power 0 is 1 times 1. That will be 1. x is 0. So c equal 1. So y is minus x, which is this one, will be what? 1 plus half x squared, which is this one. Okay. Let capital F of x, y, this. Hmm. Okay, was telling me this is exact. Yeah. Let me rewrite it. I have 2x plus 3y dx. Plus 3x plus 2y dy equals 0. I just rewrite it in this format. Now I have this is m and this is n. I want to check is it exact? Partial m with partial y, that will be 3, and partial n with partial x, that is also 3. So they are equal to each other. So it's exact. Good, easy one. So I have now partial f with partial x, 2x plus 3y. So it will be f of x and y. That will be x square plus 3xy plus function of y. Now use the other one to find the function of y. Now what will be partial f with partial y? Differentiate this with respect to y, x square gone. This is 3x plus function g prime at y. And that should equal to n, which is 3x plus 2y. So g prime at y equal 2y. So g at y will be y squared. So it will be f of x and y. It will be x squared plus 3xy plus y squared. Solution, f of x and y, which is this is equal to C. He gave me this initial condition. He said that Y1 at, uh, in this initial condition, capital F is equal to five, and that is true. So Y1 equal one, that implies what? Y1 equal one, that implies one plus three plus one equal C, which is equal to five. So my C equal five. So this is my solution. So my capital F of X and Y will be X squared, plus 3xy plus y squared, because this is what is equal to 5. Let's see, equal 5. You want what? Capital F of minus 1 and 1. OK. That will be what? 1 minus 3 plus 1. That will be minus 1, which is this one. The solution of the first order linear, he told me it's linear. OK. So I have y prime minus y equal 5e minus x over 2. The grating factor, e to the power integral of minus dx, e is minus x. Multiply, e is minus x, y prime minus e is minus x, y equal 5e to the power minus 3x over 2. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now this should be just for me to check. Which is correct. That will be 5p minus 3x. Integrate. So I have a is minus xy. Equal what? 5 times. You need minus 2 over 3. e to the power. Minus 3x over 2. Plus c. Okay. So multiply by e to the power x to get y, since you have it y equal. So y equal what? Minus 10 over 3. Multiply by e to the power x. That will be e minus x over 2 plus c e to the power x. Okay. Now I need to find c. So you have y at 0 equals minus 2. So we're getting what? Minus 2 equal minus 10 over 3 e to the power 0 gun plus c. So c will be 10 over 3 minus 2, which is minus 6 over 3. That will be 4 over 3. Okay. So my y, let me make it in the same format. 4 over 3 e to the power x minus 10 over 3 is minus x over 2. And that equal to 4 e to the power x minus 10 a minus x over 2 over 3. To be in the same format as this one. So very clear, a equal 4 and b equals 10. But this is minus minus, okay? But here what they want, they want 2a plus b. That will be 18. This one. Okay. If the differential equation is exact, find A. Easy one on us. I need partial M with partial Y equal partial N with partial X. This is M, this is N. So what I have, partial M with partial Y. Now, brother, rule here, I have 2E AY plus 2AY e to the board ay okay now with respect to x this is equal to okay yeah all of this 2 plus 6y e a y that's it because the derivative with respect to x of this one zero this one i have x times a constant which is a function of y but since i'm doing the derivative with respect to x now no, sorry, this is 2, don't forget, e to the board a y, huh? 2 times all of this, plus, let me write it in this one, 2 plus 6y, e to the board a y, which is 2, e to the board a y, plus 6y, e to the board a y. Compare this with this, what you will have. This is the same, this, the same, so you have 2a equals 6, so a equals 3. Done. The general solution of this equation, yeah, this is, seems to be separable, because you can rewrite this as 5 e to the power x is minus 4y. So you have what? e 4y dy equal 5 e to the power x dx. This is very clear subproblem. Integrate, we have 1 over 4 e to the power 4y equal to, yeah, 1 over 4 e to the power 4y equal 5 e to the power x plus c. Multiply by 4, I have e to the power 4y equal 20 e to the power x plus 4c, or make it c. Because he making it as c. Take ln of both sides, so I have 4y, ln of this. Divide by 4. So I have this answer. <coughs> the generation of this. It's very clear linear. Mm -hmm. 
linear. Okay. Let me do the integrating factor. Will be e integral 3x squared dx, which is ex cubed. Multiply everything by that. This should be in this format, which is correct. Yeah, derivative of this ax cubed 3x squared y. That's good. This is equal to this. Now integrate. Yeah, be careful here. This is integral. Yeah, I have ax cubed, which is I need 3x squared times 2 dx. And that will be what? 2, this is u, this is du, so you have e to the power u, 2 e to the power x cubed plus c. Multiply by e to the power minus x cubed, so y equal 2 plus c minus x cubed, and that will be my answer. Solution of this initial value problem, mm. what is this? Yeah, let me rearrange it. I have minus y over x squared dx equal take this to the other side. I have with a minus sign. Yeah, let me do it with let me take take y over x squared to the other side. Yeah. So I have one over x, which is one plus x over x dy. Take this to the other side, equal y over x squared dx. So, so you have what? You have dy over y equals dy over y equals x over x squared one plus x dx. Okay. So let me cancel this with this. I'm getting what? dx over x one plus x. Very, very clear, several great ln absolute value of y mm. it will be the integral of this to have a over x dx okay cover the x i'm getting what so one this is one cover this i'm getting minus one check one plus x minus x that would be one okay so i have ln Absolute value of y. What is the two gun? Okay. Yeah, maybe the initial position. Let me see what will happen. Okay. That will be len absolute value of x minus len one plus x plus c, which is len x over one plus x plus c. So I have y equals c x over one plus x. Now I have this condition, y1 equal 1 to get the c. So I'm getting 1 equal c, 1 over 2. So c equal 2. So solution, y equal 2x over 1 plus x. Oops, which is this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a good practice. Now we did many problems. Yeah, this is. Yeah, several, very clear. 2y dy equal to x plus 1 dx. Several. Solve it. You have y square. The great. y square equal what? x square plus x plus c. You have this, two con this condition, y minus 2 minus 1. So. We're getting what? We are getting one equal four plus one plus C. All right. What is this? 
Hm. Und x, x ist minus 2, 4 minus 2, sorry, was ist das? Minus 2 plus c. Hm? x ist minus 2, y ist minus 1. Okay. Now. Okay. So c. Or you can write from here and get that y, maybe that will make it easier. No, y is negative. Okay. Yeah, from here I get y equal plus or minus the square root of this. But y is negative, so I need the negative side. So this is my y. Because y is negative. So y is minus 2 equal minus 1. That gives me minus 1 equal minus the square root. This is what? x squared is what? x squared is 4 minus 2 plus c. So that implies minus 1 equal minus square root 2 plus c. Square it. 1 equal 2 plus c. So c equal minus 1. Yeah, if c equal minus one, then this is, will be satisfied. So y will be minus the square root x squared plus x minus one. What they want, they want y at two will be minus the square root four plus two minus one. That minus the square root of five, which is this one. Yeah, I should notice that y equal minus one, so this is there is a minus sign here. I cancel the plus since he said he gave me one condition where y is negative. So y should be negative. Okay. The general solution of the differential equation now this is very clear, it's linear dy over dx. Yeah. I just divide by x. This is the linear. Very clear. Integrating factor e to the power minus 3 over x dx. That will be x to the power minus 3. Multiply. Minus 3 x is minus 4 y. Equal x is minus 1. Now this should be d over dx. Over x minus 3 y. Is it? Yes. Minus 3 x is minus 4. Perfect. Integrate. Then absolute value of x plus c. Yeah, I think I need to put a condition that x is positive. So when I divide by x, I cannot divide by x unless x is not equal to zero. Okay. So y equal what? x cubed len x plus c x cubed. That will be the answer. The exact. He told me it's exact. So we'll start with this one. I have partial f with partial x. I think it's a good practice huh? for the exam. So f of x and y, it will be what? x cubed <coughs> plus 2x y squared plus function of y. Now partial f with partial y will be what? 4xy plus g prime at y. And that should equal to 4xy plus 6y squared. So g prime of y equals 6y squared. So g at y, integrate this, that would be 2y cubed. So my f of x and y will be this, x cubed plus 2xy squared plus 2y cubed. Solution, f of x and y equals c. So I have x cubed that would be my answer. Watch it this way. Is the solution of this initial value problem? Yeah, this is very clear subroble. I have dy over dx equal minus axy square. 
that implies dy over y squared equal minus ax dx. Now, subrable, this is subrable. Integrate, so you have minus one over y minus ax plus c. So y equal what? One over multiplied by minus first. So you have one over y equal ax, make it plus c, who cares? Minus c equal it plus c. So y will be one over c plus e to the bottom x. Is it y? Okay. Yeah, minus y squared. This is I divide by y squared. Okay. So c, c, now y at zero equal half. So that implies that half equal one over c plus one. So c equal one. Because, yeah, it's the ball zero is one. So C equal one, very clear. So my solution, Y will be one over one plus E to the ball X. What they want, they want Y to the ball into, which is one over one plus E to the ball into, which is two, so it's one over three. That would be the answer. And a certain question of bacteria, the number of bacteria doubled after four hours. Okay, let me call this P. So P after four, it will be two P zero. Yeah. I call P zero the initial, the initial pollution. How how long did it take for the pollution to travel? Find T such that P at T equals P zero. Okay. The rate of change, so dp by dt is equal kp, which is we know the answer that p of t equal p0 e to the ball kt. We know how to solve this, it's a problem, very, clear, very easy differential equation. Now I will apply this to get the key, to get the k, the key, to get the value of k. So we have b at 4 equal 2b0, that implies 2b0 equal b0 e to the power 4k. You can cancel b0 with b0, so you have e4k equal 2, take ln, so you have 4k equal ln 2, so k equal 1 over 4 ln 2. Plug it into the equation, so b at 2, b at t equal b0, e to the power t over 4, lint up. Now I get the formula, what they want. They want when, what is the time where I reach 3p0. So I have b at t equal 3p0, which is p0, e t over 4, lint 2. I'm looking for t. So that implies 3 equal e t over 4, lint 2. Take ln of both sides, ln 3 equal 3 over 4 ln 2. So that implies t equal 4 ln 3 over ln 2. This will go as a power, which is 3 times 3, 9 times 3 times 3, 9 times 9, 81 over ln 2. And that will be answer. So the homogeneous, he told me it's homogeneous. And it's very clear it's homogeneous. Yeah. So let me write in the format. Usually I work out. So that will be 4x square plus 3y square dx minus 2xy dy equals 0. That, yeah, this is time to x and take it to the other side. Okay. So I let y equal ux. So dy equal u dx plus x du. Plug it. 
you have what? 4x squared plus 3y squared x squared dx minus 2x ux times u dx plus x du equal to 0. Mm -hmm. See what will happen. Now I have 4x squared dx plus 3u squared x squared dx. Yeah, be careful here. Oh, equal ux, okay. So this is minus 2x squared u squared dx. And then minus 2x cubed u du equals 0. Okay. So I have four x square dx. This is plus u square x square dx equal two x cubed u du. I can take x square common factor here. You have what four plus u square dx equal two x cubed u du. Okay. Yeah, I need the x in one side. So we have the x over x equal two u over four plus u squared du. Yeah, the x over x, and this is two u over this. Yeah, which is very clear. Integrate now. This is summable. So I integrate. I have what len absolute value of x. If this is u, this is du, then 4 plus u square plus c. Okay. So take e, you have what? x would be equal c times 4 plus u square. Oops. So what do we get? Now return, return u, u will be what? U, y over x. That will be c for y over x, y square over x square. So I'm getting what? x cubed equals c for x square plus y square. I can divide by C or multiply it by one over C, make it here. So we have, we call it K, like what he did. So KX cubed equal 4X squared plus Y squared, which is this one. Yeah, calculation, nothing, nothing is there. Let me try to finish. E to the power y dx minus e minus x dy equals zero. Yeah, this is very clear subrobot. Huh? I have ey dx equal e minus x dy. Okay. So I have what? I have ex dx e minus y dy, which is the great. I have ex minus e minus y plus c. Yeah. I put the conditions. Y at zero equals zero. Getting what? One equal minus one plus C. So C equal two. So you have A to the power X. In other words, I have minus E is minus. I need everything in terms of Y, huh? Okay. That will be equal to what? e to the power x minus 2. So e is minus y equal 2 minus e to the power x. Take lin. So minus y would be lin 2 minus e to the power x. So y would be minus lin 2 minus e to the power x. Which is this one? Okay. Okay. 
try to finish. So this is linear. He told me it's linear. So let me write in the format. That will be minus one over x y equal x sine x. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I just divide by x. So integrating factor will be e to the four minus one over x dx, which is x is minus one minus ln minus ln of x with the e it will be x is minus. So with that x is positive. Yeah, since I divide by x. Okay. Now I need x not equal to zero. Now multiply by that, you have x is minus one dy over dx minus x is minus two y equals sine x. Okay, that will make our life easier. D over dx x is minus y, x is the word minus one times y equals sine x. Check this. Yes, correct. So integrate x is minus one y equal minus cosine x plus c. I need y, so I will be what cx minus x cosine x. Which is this one? It will be exact. So let me do it. Don't be so genius. I did not say anything. So we need to see what's going on. This is exact. Things. Yeah. Okay. So let me start with this one. Partial f with partial x. So it will be f of x and y. That will be. In, in terms of x, huh? so I have x square y square minus 3x plus function of y. Partial f with partial y, it will be what? 2x square y plus g prime of y, and that should equal to n, which is 2x square y plus 4. So g prime at y equal 4. So g at y equal 4y. So what will be f of x and y? x square y square minus 3x plus 4y. What is my solution? Equals c. That will be my solution. Which is this one. Homogeneous equation. Yeah, I rewrite it. That will be y plus x dy equal y minus x dx. Oh, let me make it in one side. y minus x dx minus y plus x dy equals zero. Okay, is it? Yeah, one minus x dx equal y plus x dy. Okay, so I let y equal ux dy will do dx plus x du. Let me see what will happen. I have ux minus x dx minus ux plus x u dx plus x du. Equal zero. No, do the multiplication. ux dx minus x dx minus u square x dx minus x u dx minus u x square du minus x square du equals zero. Yeah, very clear this, no, with this. This with this cancelled. Combine the one with x in one side, so we have x, we say minus x, one plus u squared dx. And on the other side, you have what? I have x squared. Okay. Times one plus u du. Okay. Now let us divide, see what will happen. Okay. I have. There is a minus sign here. Uh, 
OK, so I have minus dx over x. Let me make it plus equals to what? What's in the other side? One plus u over one plus u squared du. This is the mine. So it's minus one minus u. Did I miss anything? No. OK. Minus dx. Let me make it plus, I think, better. 1 plus u. This is make it minus. OK. So integrate minus ln absolute value of x equal to what? This one integral of this, 1 over 1 plus u squared du plus u over 1 plus u squared du. So I have what? Minus ln absolute value of x equal what? Tan inverse of u. Okay. Plus what? Plus, this is I can take two, put two and half outside, plus half ln 1 plus u squared. Oops, plus C. OK. Now, what I have. Multiply by 2 to get rid of this. So I have, and take this to the other side also. I'll take this to this side, multiply by 2. So I have 2 tan inverse of u, OK, plus 2 ln absolute value of x, plus ln, what is u? u is y over x, OK, y over x squared, huh? that will be squared. Plus C. Yeah, it's a matter of calculation now. And U is, is Y over X. Huh? This U is Y over X. So I have two tan inverse of Y over X plus ln, what is it in one side? X square times, what is this? This is X square plus y squared over x squared. Yeah. Equals zero. Yeah, plus c equals zero. It takes it the other side. Yeah. So you have what? This is cancelled. So you have ln x squared plus y squared plus two and inverse y over x takes it the other side and call it c it's minus c what c no problem so i have this answer yeah calculation be careful with it y equal is the solution of this initial value problem yeah what is this if you look at it this is divide by x so you have dy over dx plus 3 over x, y, equal x cubed cosine x. Yeah. Divide by x. So I have dy over dx. No, this is minus, sorry. This is minus 3 over x. Yeah, take it the other side. Huh? I took this to the other side, and I divide by x. That will be excluded. Okay. That's so it's linear, very clearly linear. So we have two linear questions in the same exam. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So integrating factor, I have A plus minus 3 over x dx. That will be what? X is minus 3. So I have x is minus 3, dy over dx 
minus 3x is minus 4y equal cosine x. Okay, so d over dx of x q x minus 3y equal cosine x. Integrate. So you have x is minus 3y equal sine x plus c. You want, you want y at this equal what? Okay, let me see what will happen. So you have what? y equal x cubed sine x plus cx cubed. So you give me initial condition. Yes, you have this initial condition. So y is 2 by equal 0 to get the, to get the c. That will be 0. Sine 2 by is what? Sine 2 by is 0. So I have 0 plus c 2 by cubed. So for sure c equals zero. Okay. So my y is x cubed sine x. You want y at pi over two. Y at pi over two. That is two over pi cubed y at pi. What is y at pi over two? It will be pi over two cubed sine pi over two, which is one. So this times that, that will be one, and that will be the answer. Okay, let me see this one. This seems to be exact, is it? M is what? What is the derivative of M with respect to Y, one over Y, and the same thing here. So I have M of X and Y, and N of X and Y, what is partial m with partial y? That will be 1 over y. What is partial n with partial x? That also is, so they are the same. So it's exact. Now we have, let me start with partial f with partial x. I can start with the other one, will not make a difference. So I have f of x and y will be what? Integral of cosine, which is now respect to x, so that will be sine x, correct? Is it? No. I'm differentiating. I'm doing the integral with respect to x plus x lin y. What is the sine? Come. is partial f with partial x. Integrating with respect to x. So that will be sine x. This is will be x then y. Plus function of y. Okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. No, no problem. Okay. Now this is my f. Now I will do the second one. When I have partial f with partial y is equal to this. So partial f with partial y, this will be zero, will be gone. Okay, so this is x. That will be x over y plus g prime at y, which is x over y plus e y. So g at y, so g prime at y will call e to the power y. So g at y will be e to the power y. So plug everything here now. So what is f of x and y? It will be sine x plus x lin y plus e to the power y. He gave me this information. And he said this is when I have y at 0 equal 1. Actually, the solution will be this. Is equal to c. See, he said if I do this, I'm getting the function is equal to e. So let me do y at 0 equal 1. See what will happen. This is 0. This is 0. e to the power 0 is 1. Uh, e. Yeah. So I have 0. Then 1 is 0. e to the power 1 is equal to c. So c equal e, which is this. So this is my function. So I have the solution sine a capital F of X and Y now, which is sine X 
I get it. Why? Because this is equal to E. So this is will be my function. At Y at zero equal one. OK, so what they want, they want F zero two. OK, X zero sine zero gun. X zero gun. That will be E square. That will be the answer. Yeah, I think now we did all of these questions related to chapter one. So let me stop the recording. And then I will do the other videos where I collect questions related to chapter four, five and six. Thank you.